Hey everybody, J&A Review, and today we're at Triple H RV here in Haleyville, Alabama. If you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, follow along with us, and give us a thumbs up. Today we are looking at a 2023 Forest River Sabre, model number 36BHQ, so let's get started. The length on this Sabre is 42 feet, the dry weight is 11,943 pounds, and that hitch weight is 2,095. So I guess Uncle Josh's Ford Ranger won't pull this one. No, probably not, but this is a nice big unit. So if you like to take your family with you, this is gonna be a great one to look at. Let's start up here and look at some storage. There we go. There we go. Of course, your water connections are gonna be in here. You do have an outside shower and your satellite and cable is also in there so here is what your pass-through is going to look like very good outside storage here we'll just give you a quick look down this side this is going to have four point electric stabilizing uh, leveling system one of your propanes is on this side with a dirt dauber nest on it <laughs> And that looks like it could be ours. Oh, the joys of living in the South with all of our little critters we have. Your auto level is, uh, control is. Oh, sorry, I just walked right in front <laughs> of you. It's gonna be here somewhere if we can get it all in one spot. What? I need a cheeseburger. <laughs> no. All right, right here at the front is where your spare is gonna be. Your batteries will go in here. And there you go. You know, you made me use all my my mad money to redo your kitchen cabinets at home. I'm absolutely broke now. I'm just saying. <laughs> Do not feel sorry for him. I am. It's terrible. <laughs> Here is your other propane. Uh, these are 20-pound bottles. I don't know if 30 pounds might fit in there. Maybe. Well, yes. I do believe they will. Okay, so so you may be able to upgrade your um, propane if you want to. If Here's not, the put a battle stretcher on it. <laughs> here is a, the other side of your pass through storage, and if you would like to put a TV out here, you've got um, a hookup right there where you can uh, add an outside TV. You also have a little bit of a, an outside kitchen. There's no no outside grill, but your quick connect is right under here. This sink is plumbed through okay and you yep. got a little mini fridge yeah that's cool i like it and you have an extra plug-in out there all right Let's see i'm not sure the length on this awning but you do have a nice big power awning out here and your lights are in the arms on these so let's head inside and take a look do also like to point out um yes you have a light strip there so your saber outline will light up at night now coming in you've got almost a mud room area so this is just really nice but we'll show you this some more when once we get on inside taking a quick look around in here you'll see this is your traditional uh, rear living layout. Wow. Um, again, if you are not a big fan of the the lighter or white cabinets, this one does have a little more of your traditional brown colors. Starting back here at the very back, you're going to have a nice big window with a zebra shade storage across, the top. across the top. Here's one of your AC units, and the ceiling fan is on. I mean, the ceiling fan is there, it's not on. Yeah. Okay, I like all these little track lights that yes. they've got throughout the whole coach. Now, this is awesome. Those are pretty. Squirrel. That would be cool at night when you're trying to um, watch TV and you don't want all your overhead lights on. All right, right here, you're going to have a tri-fold sofa at the back. You've got end tables on both sides, USB and power on both sides, and you even have some sconce lights up yep. there. I like it. Very nice. I said nice again. <laughs> let's look at this front slide out this is going to be on your campsite so you have got 
theater seating here. You got um, four cup holders across the front, mm -hmm. uh, and a big storage there to hide your remotes. And you'll see that it does have some accent lighting underneath. Over here, you're going to have a freestanding table. It's going to have just the single leg right in the middle. You've got a bench on one side and chairs on the other. So you can move the bench around if you need to use it as a um, coffee table or to prop your feet on. Now, if you take a seat on your theater seating oh i'm by the window and there's a breeze yes okay that's really nice your entertainment center is going to have some storage across the top that's deep storage i yep. can tell from here nice big sansui tv and you've got a couple of drawers right there for storage and they give you an electric fireplace for those cooler mornings when you need just a little extra heat and don't want to run your propane yep. right next to that is going to be a pantry area Oh, wow. Yeah. That's nice. All the way down to the floor. You can tell that I am really enjoying this breeze because I don't want to leave this spot. <laughs> Here on the island, let me go ahead and show you this because you can see the accent lighting. Um, you've got a plug-in on that side. you got a plug-in here on the end. Also have USB. And it's got solid surface countertop, so very impressive. This is going to have a large single basin sink. Um, it's got the apron style sink with the black stainless steel high rise faucet drawers right there and storage underneath. And you got some open storage over mm -hmm. there. Yep. That's cool. Very, very cool. Your cooking area back here, you've got a microwave and a a little bit of storage up here for the bread. <laughs> so you can stash stuff that short people can't reach. Many bars. <laughs> you also have solid surface around your um, three burner cooktop with an oven and your matching drawer down there at the bottom. Sorry, Karen. No big. No oven. big oven on this one. But you do have a really nice fridge. You've got your French style um, door here and it's got two cool. drawers at the bottom yes all right. all right now we said that if you had a family that this was a good one and here we go we got the you have clock or is it box or is it just a no well, it's, it's just a multi-purpose room yeah this is a multi-purpose room you've got a trifold sofa here so this will make into not quite a queen size i think it's gonna be more like a full size um you know, you could take this out and put a desk across here. Absolutely. And make this an office. This could easily be transferred, um, transformed into yep. an office space. So if you don't need the extra sleeping or the sofa, that's always something to keep in mind. All right, Karen, this is a plus. <laughs> now turning around, you have got a area up here where you can add a TV. Your connections are there and uh, already in place, and they did give you a USB here. You've got two very good sized drawers, and um, this can work as a wardrobe closet if you need this for a bedroom, or you can just use it as storage if you mm -hmm. need an office. This is pretty nice. It is very nice, and they even give you another plug in and USB over here on this wall. Cool. Something that I pointed out when we were coming in is this area this is just directly in front of your door when you're coming in so you've got storage up above and you've got hooks for your jackets or for leashes and then they even give you a spot right here to sit and put your shoes on oh yes and an area to stash your shoes oh it opens oh, and it opened and it boy did it come open <laughs> and it opened Scared quickly me. wow all right that's pretty deep too now you put that in there and we'll forget what we did with it I just wanted to do that for demonstration. Okay. okay. He has laughed at my backpack because it is a kid's backpack with stars, but hey, it was $5 at Walmart, so. Yeah, somebody <clears throat> pointed that out too, <laughs> Tiffany. Yeah. Okay. But again, it's got uh, shoe storage down here. Going up the stairs, your uh, fuses are gonna be down there. Your controls, your touch, touch screen controls are all gonna be there. Now, this one is going to have a loft so here is your ladder to get up here 
and you'll see that you um let's see i see a usb port and a plug-in so i'm sure you can add a tv up here and well, i don't know i don't see tv controls it may be we may not i don't know i can't see it i don't know i'm too big i can't get in there <laughs> And I'm not going to climb this ladder because I don't trust myself. But this is a great area for kids. Or you could also use it for storage if you don't have um, kids that travel with you. Now let's move on into the bathroom. But before we do, I would like to point out this. Uh, it's sort of, sort of a narrow window, but it's a nice window here in the hallway for some extra light. Sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That CD's coming out later. <laughs> much, much later. <laughs> it might go aluminum. Um, all right. In here in the bathroom, Jeremy is six feet tall and uh, thinks he can sing. But he's got a big old skylight up there, so he's got plenty of headroom. It's my microphone. Here we go. <laughs> and I like to point out that this that doesn't have a very big step up, so it's easy to get in and out of. And you got a little uh, seat there if you need to put your foot up. Oh, you've already got this open. Yes, Yay. I'm already ahead of you. All right, so your linen storage is going to be right over here. Uh, you got two doors, and then there's an open one. And your foot flush toilet is right here. Got some good leg room around it. Bent down there. Ah, yes. Heating. I like to point those out. Heating, yeah. And okay. Got a little bit of storage under Storage there. under your sink. A big sink, though. I yeah, think. that's a pretty good sink. Uh, Forest River is really pretty good about giving you big sinks in the bathroom. Your medicine cabinet here and again I'm just going to remind y'all that if you like if you like the more traditional brown colors this one's got it and I mean even the flooring is is kind of brown so if that if brown is your thing this one's for you all right let's move on into the main bedroom okay in here we have got a king-size bed on a slide and there is a shelf right above it now we've done one not long ago that had the plug-in and stuff at the top. At the top, but, but they put them at the bottom on this, this one. This one's at the bottom. Wow. So hey, leave us a comment. Would you prefer to have it at the bottom or on the top? Huh? I don't know. I think I would like it on the top. Yeah, I think so. But you know, you'd have but, to get up here, plug stuff in. But you know, I don't know. Yeah, but this one you might have cords hanging down. Hey. That's why they make different things because different people like them. And you've got little windows on both sides that open for air. He just made fun of me. Yep. <laughs> Storage here below the bed. Now this one is gonna have another AC unit in here. So that's always a great thing to have and your control for that's gonna be over there next to the door. Right here at the foot of the bed, you've got a dresser with three drawers. Mm -hmm. If you would like to add a TV back here, it'll mount right up there and your connections are already in place and it's ready to go. I just noticed they've got they do have speakers, speakers up there. back here. Huh. Okay. Wow. You've got a little bit a, a little bit of a window here. You have got a window a, here. You got a little bitty window. Oh. There you go. But you do have a pleated shade. All right, we're gonna change places here so he can show you this closet. Okay right down here you're going to be able to um, have a washer and you can see some of your shoe storage back there and if i'm not mistaken i think those dryer is going to go on the other side uh oh oh we're locked oh, hang on. there we go i got a little snap there at the bottom you can tell we didn't prepare for this one no and, and let's see over there. yes so that's where your um, vent would go for your dryer so you would have side-by-side -side washer and dryer back here, shelf all the way across, a uh, hanging rack, and some great shoe storage back there. I might get most of mine in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, let's take another quick look down here at the lower level. All right, everybody, if you like this uh, saber with the, I guess you could say the multi-purpose room, I mean, the dealership's information will be down in the description. Um, like always, if you just found our channel, go ahead and subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you like our content, and um, follow us on Facebook. Thanks, everybody.